Number 30, letter A. Calculate the rate of heat conduction through house walls that are 13 centimeters thick and have an average thermal conductivity uh, twice that of glass wool. Assume there are no windows or doors, the surface area of the walls is 120 meters squared, and their inside surface is at 18 degrees Celsius, while the outside surface is at 5 degrees Celsius. All right, so here's a little picture. Here's the outside of the house, and on the other side of the wall is the inside of the house, right? And then usually if you've ever done a little construction or seen, uh, well, ever seen a show, right about construction, they put usually insulation between the walls, all right? And that's to prevent heat flow, right, both ways. That's to prevent heat from, on hot days, flowing into the house, and then that's on cold days to prevent heat from leaving the house. Um, uh, so this is anytime you have materials in contact with one another, um, you're talking about conduction, okay? You're talking about conductive heat transfers, which is now defined by this equation, okay, over here on the right-hand side. So, uh, yeah, anytime you're talking about two items, you know, that are touching and so on and so forth, and they're separated by a certain distance, you can, you know, you can do uh, such calculation uh, using the formula I just highlighted, okay? So let's just take a look. So Q over T. Well, Q over T, what's Q? Well, that's heat energy, right? That's measured in joules. What's T? That's time. That's measured in seconds. And what's a joule per second? A watt, right? This thing is power, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so just be flexible in how you're thinking about it. You can leave it like this, or you can plug in power. Power is the rate of energy gain or energy loss. I mean, that's what power is, right? Power is equal to energy over time. The energy gained or loss over time, that's power. Here, instead of calling it E, because there's many types of E, they're calling it Q, because Q is a type of E. Now that you're thoroughly confused, let's move on to the next part of the equation. So here we have K, which is the thermal uh, conductivity constant. This is gotten from a table, all right? Certain materials have different thermal conductivities, and that should kind of make sense, right? I mean, you ever put your you know, hand on a... Uh, actually, this is an interesting, uh, interesting idea. Have you ever walked on bare tile with your feet, assuming it wasn't heated, right? Assuming it was, you know, tile, I don't know, your kitchen, your bathroom floor. What do you always notice? Does it feel colder? does, right? You walk on the bare tile, it feels colder than if you walk on wood or you walk on laminate. Why? Why? Is it the fact that the, that the tile is colder? I want you to think about that. Leave a comment down below. And if you do, and if you give a good idea, I will definitely comment back to you if you're right or wrong, you know, if you're, if you're right or wrong. And I'll, uh, I'll, you know, try to provide some guidance on how to think about that. All right. Uh, but it's a, it, anyway, that has to do deal with K. So, okay, moving back to the problem. Uh, then this is multiplied by the uh, surface area over which the conduction is happening. All right, so the conduction is happening over the whole area of the wall. Okay, multiplied then by the difference in temperatures between the two sides okay, of the object. In this case, we're talking about the wall, so it's the temperature on the inside versus the temperature on the outside. Which one should go where? Totally depends on what you're trying to calculate the rate of heat conduction for, all right? I'll get to that in a second. And then that's then divided by the distance over which the two temperatures are, quote unquote, separated, okay? So now uh, I can just, I'm just gonna plug a P here because I'm getting lazy. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to calculate this. So it says, here's glass wool that's looked up, but the thermal conductivity is twice that amount. So it's really two times 0 0.042. The surface area of the wall, they told us was 120. The temperature difference now. So it totally depends upon if you want to calculate, uh, you know, the heat transfer, the rate of heat transfer from the inside of the house to the outside of the house, or from, right... You know that, well, I can't say really from in, from outside to in in this problem because heat does go from high heat to low heat, right? So heat will flow this way, okay? There's only one way the heat's gonna flow. But in terms of the signage, the inside of the house will be losing heat, right? Because it's warmer and the outside will be gaining heat because it's colder. So that's where the signs come in from, all right? Or that's where the signs come from, just it's kind of in terms of the, the, the flow of heat there. And now I can organize this term 
So then when I subtract either 18 uh, from 5, right, which would be what? A negative 13. Or if I were to subtract 5 from 18, which would be what? That would be a positive 13. Notice how the magnitude's the same. It's just the sign that changed. So you can even just do an absolute value here, you know, and then plug in the values however you like. You can always just, or you can always just plug in the bigger one first. Right? You don't even need an absolute value. Plug in the bigger one first and small one second. And then from there, just think about it at the end. What sign should it be? You know, re relative to, I mean, it might not, depends on what you're talking about, right? As I just explained. So let's just calculate this this way. The distance was 13 centimeters, but we know that we need that in meters. So yeah, let's calculate. So this is, this is going to be 2 times 0 0.042 times then 120 times then 13, as we mentioned, divided by 0.13. And this is about 1,008, right? So about 1,008 watts, or a.k.a. joules per second, which would have been the Q over T. And this is the rate of heat conduction, all right? So now... You know, this is the magnitude. The sign would be negative now for the, if you were talking about what's the rate of heat loss for the interior, well, it would be negative, right? 1,008 watts. And then the rate of heat gain by the outside would be positive 1,008 watts. I mean, you could just leave it like that, all right? Uh, so that takes care of letter A. And then letter B now, it says how many kilowatt room heaters would need to balance the heat transfer? Okay, so this is in watts, right? So first, let me convert that into kilowatts. So this would be a pro, you know, just divide that by 1,000. This is approximately 1.008. I'm not considering sig fig, so don't worry about it. This is kilowatts. So about then, you know, one room heater would be needed to balance this heat transfer. Okay, about one room heater. Okay, if it's a one kilowatt room heater. Okay, so guys, I appreciate it very much. Thank you for viewing the video, and if I could also thank you in advance for hitting that subscribe button and telling your friends, I shall do so. Thank you. Take care.